Ooh, Aries. Hey, babe. Happy motherfucking February. Welcome to your February 2021 reading. Um, these are a little bit different today because I have pre-shuffled, grounded, and divvied up your piles here. This is going to focus on past, present, and future. These are also going to be 15 minutes long instead of 29 or 30, what I normally do. To preserve my sanity, these won't always be 15 minutes long. Usually these um, monthly Zodiac readings, I'll do a full 30, 29, 30 minutes. But this week, I found myself backed up, girl, and I had to cut them short. And the workload went from about six hours to three. So that was very helpful to me to think to do 15 minutes. Remember to check your moon and rising sign readings as they'll always give you additional perspectives. Um, these are general readings. So if you want to get a private reading, you can check the description in uh, the link in my description. You go to my website and book there. Message me on Instagram. Uh, check out the readings on Instagram. Check out the readings on TikTok. Uh, those are also linked in the description box. And I think that's it. Please like my shit. <laughs> Please subscribe, of course, and um, let's motherfucking get into it. Leave a comment. So what I'm seeing for you guys for the month of February, you guys have done a lot of work with, um, that makes me feel like work you've done in your partnerships and um, kind of the, the life you've built for yourself. Um, with your family, with yourself, and the main theme is kind of what comes out first. These three cards, you get the strength card, four of wands, and the star card. So there's something that you've released. It's possibly, it's possible that what you've released and let go of control of has to do with your union or your relationship either to yourself or to your mate. Your dreams are coming true. This is your pre your past position. Your dream. You you found that your dreams are beginning to come true. It's pretty amazing. What you've always wanted, and it's they've been coming true because you've been able to step into this kind of relinquishing your power, s surrendering your power, and not needing so much control. Okay, you're beginning. You have begun to manifest your your dreams and your goals. Under that, we have the devil card. So, what it feels like to me is you've had some patterns, right, that kept coming up for you in probably 2020, your whole life. Let's get real. But in the end of 2020, early in, 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 in January, you've probably realized that some of the things that you've been letting go are these old patterns. This is shadow stuff. The devil is shadow work, addictions, um, those sides of us that we'd rather not face or confront. But you've been doing a really good job at releasing some of this. This old story, this pattern that you've been tied to, you're beginning to release, which is making your relationship stronger. It's making your connection to yourself stronger. It's making your family life stronger. It's really allowed you to begin to flourish. Under that, you guys get a number, another number eight. This is eight of cups. Keyword for this is moving on. So again, these, these situations that bring up this pain, this codependency even. Devil can be codependency, whatever you've been codependent on, whether it's been somebody else or your old story. You've begun to move on from that. It's an old story, right? You're leaving the devil in the past. Not that it's just gone because we will always be confronting our own devil and um, for the rest of our lives, right? Hopefully it gets easier as we get older though. Okay, a little lip gloss here. Your girl just ate a Reese's Pieces peanut butter cup. That shit. Mm. <laughs> All right. Also in the past position, we have Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek, friend. <laughs> Trust what you know. So as 
it pertains to the past you you've begun to kind of pay attention to like how you feel and um trusting your guidance trusting that what your body's telling you is right okay i can trust that i will make the best decisions for my life situation i trust that i can make a choice for myself and my family that will lead us to the best possible outcome. I trust myself. Wow, I trust myself. So that's what you've been working on in the past. And when you do that, it, it you're letting go of mistrust. You're letting go of issues with self-worth. I mean, this is really what you've been kind of working on mastering. The next oracle card that comes out is the elephant, un elefante. Open yourself to true abundance. Open yourself to true abundance. Elephants, wow, what a powerful animal. Oh my God, y'all know I love animals. If I could get my hands on an elephant, oh my God, I would, I would, I would die, I would die. So what a powerful, loving, abundant animal when we see the elephant. Elefante. Okay. Then you guys got discernment. Discernment. Um, which this card reminds me of the lover's card because that's the key word for the lover's card is discernment. This says follow your intuition. So in the past position, this is really, you've been like, you know what? This feels right. I trust myself. I'm going this way. So this is this work that you've done is guiding us, is ushering us into this present position part of the spread. Now, in the present position, what have we here? What have we here? Ooh, did you fart? It wasn't me, friend, I swear. Okay, because best believe if I fucking farted on this shit, I would edit that shit out. Okay, that would be embarrassing. Okay, so we have Six of Cups, Justice Reverse, and nine of cups presently we have a situation that makes you feel out of it, oh, this shit doesn't feel very steady this shit feels very like fuck you know like oh oh well can't find my footing like in imbalance an imbalance of power Something's not fair. Something's not going in your favor. So that's kind of the current feeling. Also the card of Libra. Cloaking this justice card, we have two cup cards. Six of cups, nine of cups, both about emotion. So this issue is causing some emotion. But <clears throat> why is this happening? Is because whatever issue has come up for you presently that feels incredibly unfair that feels like it's knocking you off your center is bringing what it really is is it's digging up the past for you it's bringing up issues that are actually deeply rooted in childhood wounding and pain so this injustice is, is it appears to our eyes to be currently happening and it being a brand new situation that has nothing to do with your childhood. But in actuality, it's triggering all the perfect things from your childhood to help that come up and be healed. On the other side of that, we have the wish card. So you've made a wish for this to be healed. It possibly involves your children. Okay, we have the brother and the sister here. Children, healing, wounding, memories, nostalgia, the past, and we're making a wish moving forward. So now you are aware that even though this issue poses to be um, something that has nothing to do with your childhood, it in fact actually does. It's here to be help you do some healing work. Whatever you did in the past, this from the past is helping you better navigate this present situation. Okay. So it's your work from the past has put you in a good place. 
underneath that, let me check time, <clears throat> it's the Wheel of Fortune. Mm, divine timing. This also comes in the present position. To have the divine timing card come in the present position, the Wheel of Fortune, a lucky ass card, lets me know that if you're worried about this injustice, have no fears. Do your healing work. Everything is going to be worked out in divine timing. You have, you are lucky. You are fortunate. Okay. Then we have strengthening bonds. So, who or what does this injustice help you strengthen bonds with? Perhaps yourself. Perhaps your children. Your mate. Your spouse. Maybe even the person that you feel is doing you dirty. It's somehow initiating some sh some some strength for you to move forward. It's it it is the perfect initiator for your healing. God spirit knows that we have to experience contrast or chaos, trauma. We have to experience that as part of the human contract. It's what we do here. We have to experience that in order to grow. So to think that any experience is in your present position just because it's here to get you or hurt you or you're the victim of it is a misconception. You're actually being strengthened at this time. You got the strengthened card. You got the strength card. You're set. Okay. Then you got Joan of Arc, Voice of Truth. Hmm. Stand strong, focus on your purpose. Release the fear and persecution and speak your truth. Okay, so this situation brings fear. Uh, look at the Justice card. This is, look at the only major arcana card in all of the majors that has a sword in her right hand. You can see the sword is kind of blending into the pillar, showing um, how we communicate and express ourselves in our truth. Okay, so this this issue is helping you learn how to express yourself. Not only just expressing yourself, because I know Aries, y'all know how to express yourself, but um, but doing it with tact, dignity, kindness, humility, um, in a in a really balanced way. Then you get pig. Maintain self worth and self esteem. Okay. Maintain self worth and self esteem. So hold your ground, friend. Then you guys get perfect timing. No way, I didn't even see that. This is divine timing. Then you got perfect timing. Wow. Divine timing. It says right here, ordained by the angels. It's never too late or too early. So whatever legal matter, injustice, something that wasn't fair, everything's happening the way exactly it's supposed to happen. For your future position, friends. <coughs> <clears throat> you just have to be a little bit more patient because look, 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 this is beautiful. Nine of Pentacles and the fool. The fool is taking this leap of faith. Um, she has, um, cultivated wealth and self-worth and now she's ready to fly. Okay. There's some journey she's about to go on, but to start that spread, you get the hangman reverse. So there's going to be some more suspense. Uh, don't resist it. You just gotta, you just gotta be there. You just gotta let it, you just got to let it be. Um, these are sacrifices that you maybe don't feel like making right when this is reversed, um, it shows resistance to the sacrifice, resistance to the dis discomfort, resistance to needing to be patient. Uh, it's really key part of um, your evolution, especially in February, to to be able to sit with it, okay? Because it's you're you're coming into this bomb mass energy, okay? Then you guys get the world card, which is completion. You get the world card in your future position, so late February, just depending on when you're watching this, maybe into March, um, you have this completion that comes about. Okay. Then you guys get heal. 17, 16, 15. The devil. 17. Oh, this is this. Why by golly? Yes, it is. This is the star card. Heal. 
So you start in the past position with the star card and you finish in the present position with the star card. Healing is coming full circle. You get hope, love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Then you get the butterfly, which is metamorphosis, like ready to completion, ready to fly off after being the caterpillar. Be ready to transform with wisdom. And then you get believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and follow your dreams, right? There's some some something you're going to embark on in February into the future. Or, uh, late February um, into March, just depending on when you watch these, okay? Um, look at the, the feathers in her hair. It's like a bird going to take flight and the butterfly taking flight. Look at the, the beauty here in this card here. You're really blossoming. Okay, Aries. Happy motherfucking February. I love you guys. I hope these helped. I hope these brought grounding. Please like my shit. Please leave a comment. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Watch your moon arising. Bye, guys.